right? It's crazy. Uh, but yes, so we are back. Uh, the segment we're going to have now is actually a deep dive about the world. So we're going to be talking about, you know, the building the world and uh, the settings and Washington, D.C. and uh, all of that. And so with me uh, to talk about it, I have Chloe. Hi. Hi, everyone. Nice and to meet you. <laughs> Christian. Hello. Nice that you may you remember from the, the post show uh, yesterday who is now uh, the best man at Ubisoft to actually send you to beta registrations. Yes, absolutely. He knows, he knows his life. com slash beta. Register now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it good. <laughs> you're so professional. You're perfect. All right. So uh, why don't we start with you, Chloe? Who yeah, are you? Sure. What do you do? I'm an IP researcher. Uh, basically, I'm in charge of the world building and world logic and how to really recreate in a believable and interesting way Washington DC, how we did that and how we really recreated a, a post-pandemic world for you to play in and to be really immersed in, in it. So we're going to explain the process, I think. Yeah. Yes. A bit. How, how perfect is it that uh, we have you for that world segment? You yeah. Know, the person that helped build I'm that world. I'm super happy to be Somebody's here. Somebody's calling me on my mobile phone right now. <laughs> so I'm going to, <laughs> sorry, whoever you are. But yeah. goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> so then, Christian, who are you? For those who didn't watch the post show uh, yesterday, I'm Christian Pana. I'm the senior producer for the Division Two at Massive, and I'm super happy to be here with you, Yannick, <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, <laughs> and everybody <laughs> around <laughs> us. So, as a senior producer, basically, you're in charge of everything. Well, uh, I like to look at it as I'm uh, supporting everybody. To oh, do you're supporting to do a good job. It's a nice uh, way to uh, yes. put it. <laughs> I'm a, you know, support and um, in a support role, basically. Okay. All right. So, talking about the world, right? So, as everybody know now, we had the reveal uh, already at Microsoft on Sunday, and then we talked about the game more yesterday during the Ubisoft conference. So now, the cat is out of the box. The Division 2 takes place in... in Washington, Washington DC. DC. Finally, wow. we can say it. <laughs> Finally, we can say it. <laughs> it's been super hard to keep this secret. <laughs> oh yes, I can imagine. Very hard. It's like every time we uh, we were talking about the Division Two in the past, like publicly, when after we announced that we were doing the Division Two, uh, every time I would just say the name the Division Two, I would have this moment in my mind of like. Is it okay to say it? Is it okay? No, Division 2 we said. It's we didn't say yeah. DC though. Yes. We didn't say DC, so yeah. don't say DC. Hard. Now we can say it. DC, DC, DC. That's fine. We're good. <laughs> I'm not fired. <laughs> it's perfect. No, the cat is out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But so the question is like, why DC? Christian? Yeah, uh, we, we talked about it a bit yesterday as well. Mm. Uh, we, when we started looking at the game, we looked at different options, right? So we, we went in and, and saw what, what is the best location for our, our sequel. And D DC for us came very natural. It's not only the seat of power in US. It's uh, it's not only the division headquarters uh, home as well. But uh, more important for us is a place that gives us a lot of variety when when it comes to different biomes and uh, spaces where we can actually uh, change a bit the way you play the division. Yeah, there's uh, as you said the seat of power and everything and uh, yeah the the yeah the seat whatever of the division so we're not talking so much about the story division, but that can yes. give uh, some uh, indications as to yes. you know what's going to happen there so yeah so once the decision is made to actually go to dc then that's where basically you come in yeah right to yeah. like then be like okay now we're going to make a video game taking place in dc so how do we make a good dc yeah so can totally. you walk us a bit through that process how how do we create that okay so the idea is really to do a lot of research about the city to make sure that we create our own version of DC. The idea is not to do like copy paste of uh, what we have in the in other games mm -hmm. because Washington DC is is a challenging city because it happens a lot in movies or books or TV shows. So it's um it's a very mainstream city I would say, but uh we wanted to create our own world and our own version of this city. It's very different from New York. So we had to really go on site to do proper research, to allow the team to meet with experts and locals on site and to make sure that because obviously you can spend 10 years doing research yep. about a city. <laughs> it's a never ending process, mm -hmm. in fact. So 
the idea was really to select the IP pillars and what make Tom Clancy's The Division game, how to really uh, not betray the franchise mm -hmm. and make sure that we still want to create an, a gorgeous open world that really made us famous for the first game and really make sure to, yeah, do a, a mix and balance between the IP pillars and the, the world of, you know, post-pandemic and, uh, and the true Washington DC, what makes this city so special and its specificities from a cultural and artist artistical point of view yeah. as well. So, yeah. We did a lot of research on <laughs> that. A lot of research. Yeah. You mentioned uh, like specialists that you've met. Like what kind of specialists actually did you uh, meet with? A lot of uh, specialists. <laughs> specialists of everything. Yeah, and uh, it's really hard. Uh, just uh, maybe people don't realize, but it's really, really hard to do research on a city that you can expressly reveal yeah. that you have to say, Could you tell me more about your work, about your life? How is it to live in DC? What its specificities mm -hmm. or that type of things? And when they ask, but what for which <laughs> what type for? of uh, <laughs> project? Why would you know that? How to lock down the city if a <laughs> catastrophic happen? And you're like, well, it's a bit special. <laughs> Why so are you asking me these questions <laughs> about catastrophe? So it's hard to keep the secret for yeah. sure. But we met some disaster experts, policemen, firefighters, uh, urban explorers, artists, uh, Freemasons as well, because it's a huge part of the secret aspect of the city. So really a large range of people who were kind enough, and I would like to thank them if some of yeah. them are watching. Thank you for your help, for allowing us to really understand how the city works, how, you know, this, uh, I would say, job uh, help in, uh, in terms of uh, catastrophic events. Mm -hmm. And so one one of the other thing also with uh, what we revealed about the game, it's not just about the city itself. It's also about you know the time and the fact that it's also taking place a few months later. So how does that change also for the game to actually be taking place in you know summer or close to summer? Um, it's uh, it's. I mean, we really wanted to to highlight the fact that the it's uh, seven months after event of the Black Friday in mm -hmm. New York. So it's imp it was important for us to really tell something with the yeah. environment <laughs> and the fact that the nature really, uh, oh, like you have a really high presence of the of the nature of the flooding as well in the city so really we really wanted to tell something about the state of the world and the evolution that the player can tell mm -hmm. while he's playing uh, or she's playing uh, in the world yeah. so yeah a lot of a uh, lo lot of effort to find a good balance between not a post uh, really hard, uh, uh, desperate and isolated world, but also the fact that, yeah, you still have an impact on the world yeah. and you can see your progression as a player. Cool. And it's also a technical challenge as well, right? Because we, we've been doing uh, snowy Manhattan. Yeah. We know how to do that. Yeah. I think it, uh, if, if you look at the first game, it looks absolutely beautiful. And we wanted to challenge ourselves and our artists and everybody working on a tech team yeah. to make sure. That, let's see how can we we push this. How can we we do this in in a, in a beautiful summer with the dynamic weather with all the elements that we brought in with uh, with the. of our uh, engine snow drop. Uh, so even if it's summer, it's still snow drop. <laughs> yeah. So we have that. And, and I think that's, that comes together with all this research that is done. We want to bring out the spirit yeah. of uh, Washington, of the city, in, in our universe, in our interpretation of, of that universe. So basically, you're saying people were tired of making snow and they wanted to make trees instead. No, I think we <laughs> we wanted to have, a, of course, to to taste a bit more yeah. the summer as well, yeah. because we like the summer in Sweden and anyway. <laughs> we, we miss. We don't see <laughs> we don't see much of it, so <laughs> we like everything we yeah. can get. Uh, all right, so yeah, once we have all this all this information, basically about the, about the city, then it comes to actually building it, right? 
So Christian, how does it work then? Because uh, it was it's a bit different than the first division because here we have a w way, you know, like more authentic approach in a way or like something like really in terms of scale and everything. So how does that work? It's uh, very easy. To it's be very easy. You, you press, press a button, button and it, <laughs> it goes. No, it's, uh, it's very interesting. We wanted to push uh, the quality on, on everything, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what we have at heart uh, when we do production, you know that very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we wanted to, to, to see how can we improve when we build a city, we're having uh, not only quality in mind, but also efficiency because we want to be efficient as well. And uh, we created uh, a tool that is uh, used and is integrated in, uh, in our Snowdrop engine. And with the help of this tool, we are gathering um, LADAR data and topology of the place. We have all the details on the streets, which is open source data, so we everybody can use it, of course. And we, we take that and we create a one on one. Uh, recreation actually mm -hmm. of the city in in our game and of course we we play with that because we need to create a playground for our players not only uh, just creating a a, a city uh, map right and uh, so we, we this helps us a lot because we want not only to for people that have been to dc you know to know to feel the place because they will they will recognize streets landmarks uh, yeah. different buildings uh, but also for people that never been to they have a chance to actually visit it uh, with while playing the game. Yeah, we've seen that a bit with uh, people that saw the first, uh, you know, like what we've shown of the game, actually, people that are from DC or that have yeah. lived in DC that are like, oh, I recognize this street and yeah. I recognize this place. And uh, that's something that's important for the division because we already had that kind of in the first one, you know, yes. with like, uh, uh, I remember one of the first time we had a, uh, one of our group of players uh, that was at, uh, at the studio and uh, he was from New York, and when we gave him the game, so that was before we launched the Division 1, he actually went in the streets looking for the apartment of his grandparents. Oh, yeah. And he actually <laughs> found it in a game, yes. uh, which was pretty cool. So hopefully we'll have more of these stories. I'm again. sure yeah. we're going to have more and more stories like that, and uh, with this approach of one-on-one -on -one recreation, yeah. we'll have more and more stories about uh, people doing a touristical tour <laughs> Touristic. of, uh, of Washington, D.C. in our universe again. It's, gonna <laughs> it's not going to look... Uh, exactly, <laughs> because it's on scale, but it's also, yeah, you're... you're it of course. Absolutely. Also. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea is not to have like to push for 100% realism. Mm -hmm. It's important to let the artists express themselves through this. You know, it's still a, yeah. it's it's an entertainment uh, product, but uh, it's a uh, it's a masterpiece uh, from what I what I think, and it's important to to let them twist the the reality a bit and to make it fun also for the player. So, also, gameplay progression and realism need to need yeah. to find a good balance between them. Okay, so we have the. We have the demo actually available, so I think we're going to have a, a bit of a tour. You're going to give us a tour in the, the, the segment of DC that is available in the, in the E3 Let's demo. Okay. <laughs> and while we get ready, I also have a question for you, Claire, actually, because yeah. like, when you talked about uh, you know, the visits and everything, no, you, you, can, you can do your thing, Frederick. Just ignore us. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when, uh, when you, you, know, you went to DC and everything, like, was there... Was like everything as you would have expected it, or like was there a moment where you saw something and you're like, "Oh, that's cool. That would be cool in the game," you know, like things that you really didn't expect and that like you came basically richer than you even thought you would be. Um, I would say that a lot of people think there are no inhabitants in this city, yeah, but uh, and that it's just only federal organizations. Yeah. But in fact, you have a lot of uh, people living and trying to do uh, artistic things yeah. and. I mean, this is a, a, a part uh, which is uh, super interesting. It has a, a really, a really deep uh, music landscape yeah. in DC. Uh, it's very famous for go go music uh, that people, most of the people like, like DJ go go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so and yeah, we will we will have that also okay. uh, a go go flavor in the game. <laughs> go go yeah. flavor. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. All right, how about we go go play the game? Let's okay. go go play the game. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so proud <laughs> of my fun. <laughs> okay. The cringe. All right. So we can uh, we can see here just in the beginning. I don't know if you can uh, we can see this on the screen. 
it's, it's, it's coming. I'm sure it's, it's coming. coming yes. okay. so the guys yes. in the other room yeah. are. Yeah. So we we finally have uh, one thing that we also bring. We don't have snow anymore, but we have water, interactable water. Mm -hmm. And you can see how all the elements uh, that we have around are interacting with uh, with the water, and uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. And it gives us an opportunity as well to have a uh, great great uh, effects. Uh, so I can literally play football. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, wait, who is who wait now? for okay. it, wait for it. A game within a game. Boom! No, I missed it. I'm, so I'm as good at football in this game as I am in real life. We are actually playing right now the, the hands-on demo that we have uh, here in LA at the LACC. Yeah. In our so good, but also at Mike so good. And people that are here and are queuing right now to enter the LACC can actually uh, go and uh, check it out. Yeah. So, trying to see if I, if I find any landmarks or whatever but no I have no idea yes. I never went to DC so I don't recognize any of the streets but uh, yeah but something that's really striking compared to the first game though the yeah like all the vegetation and the nature uh, you want me to show something cool Yannick uh, no please don't I hate cool things but, but let me show you cool <laughs> all right show me something cool <laughs> just for once if you, if just you look at the, if you can stream on player two now which one are you check this out Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's the amount of details that, uh, that we have. Uh, That's with actually the pretty cool. Up, it's very, very cool. <laughs> that is pretty good. I want to yeah. try to with, uh, with my energy. Get that. Ah. All right. Okay, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's enter this uh, museum. This museum. Yeah. So yeah, one of the things that we, uh, and we talked about it already a bit, and people notice that is like how much more open actually it is uh, in, uh, yeah. you know, in that map compared to... Are we ready uh, or uh, to play this or... Are we ready? Okay, okay, okay. okay. So sorry, I was doing my, uh, my talk, but yeah, okay, sure. Let's, no, let's yeah, shoot I mean things. If you want to play, no? Otherwise... <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right. We're playing now. Okay, got it. Are we? Let's go. Let's go. Let's just die. Okay, so you can see the artist made a, a huge work to create some original masterpieces in this uh, museum to make the, the place uh, as logical as it could be so in this post world. So, so we're in a museum, you said? Yeah, uh -huh. that has been transformed, that has been used to be a hospital. Okay. Taken over or something, right? Because we are playing with uh, against True Sounds. Yeah. And uh, we just avoided the, an execution of civilians here by killing did we the, the enemy. Did we save yeah. them? Uh, I, I think we did. I hope. Yes. Yeah. Good job, team. one we did. Yeah. Let's collect some loot. <laughs> Go get some loot. All right. Now, when we go outside, we're gonna see how uh, when we talk about how nature takes over the place, if nobody takes care, of course, of uh, of it, how things are overgrown. Yeah, now. because again, we are like uh, some months later, so seven like months. Yeah. Seven months. So basically, okay. nobody took care of that. Nature is just taking over. Taking over, yes. You can see that uh, here when we come out, actually, we can see the... Okay, let's prepare for this the grass uh, encounter. Thing. Yes. It's going to be uh, a bit harder than uh, what we had before. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. You can feel the... Did you do the voiceover the in the trailer? Or? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that was you! That was you! I never realized that there's actually uh, already a piece of plane here. You've got more hostiles closing on your position. Yeah, this game is, is really interesting because you can you can tackle the, the fight from a lot of different angles. Yes. And again, when we are talking about like uh, having the space way more open, I mean this is a, a good illustration of it. Yeah. I mean, this space here is very open. You can really come from any side. Yes, and that's the advantage of uh, in 
Russian zombie, so for that quite scary. Dogs in tackle, uh, usually people when, when they play the demo, they, they go straight forward. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can go on the, on the street here. Yeah. Have a different, uh, a bit slightly different yeah. experience from uh, yeah. from the normal, let's say, path that people take. So how? Yeah, you want to see something else, Paul? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Can you top what you showed me earlier already? Okay. Wait, where are you? Wait, I uh, I have loot. I want my loot. You can also the the work of all the branding for the. Police cars. But you see how you affect a bit the nature, mm -hmm. and then it comes yeah. back. It creates this nice effect. But, uh, it is. It's actually quite so that's that's again. Uh, it's uh, also uh, brought to you by the power of Snowdrop again, <laughs> right? Um, you know all the taglines. You're so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, I think it's what, what, it, what is great about Snowdrop is that it gives the power to Take the artist. Yeah, you can true. actually express you don't just rush into this. and in. in in our world, basically. Yeah. Can we can we try to uh, like approach from another angle, actually? Because we always we like can we can yeah. uh, we always we can end up taking that route, but actually you can take other ones. So maybe we can show something else for once and go another way. Where'd you guys go? Yannick wants left, to be original. I want to. I want to. <laughs> yeah, on the left you're gonna be flanked at some point. You're gonna see. But uh, go Spires. there. I will take point on uh, sniper. I'm gonna be on the, on the plane. On the safest uh, place? <laughs> no, I, I'm having a specialization in sniper, so. <laughs> so I'm good, no. I'm good. I'm good at this game, come on. He's not back in five minutes. I'm gonna put so. All right. I'll cover you guys. Yeah, that's really much more open, actually. I started the fight, I, I didn't. Yeah. So if we die, it's your fault. That's fine, earlier uh, I asked her, like, are you good at the game? She said she's good, so... So that's fine, she's going to carry us. You didn't die so far. Yeah, that's true, you didn't die so far. That is a good point. Just you wait. Don't forget to use your weapons. Right, there's a signal. Let's move out! Especially when you get that. Oh, oh, division down. agent is down. Ah. Somebody can help me. I'm on the. Oh, oh my God! Somebody's gonna. Get me. I'm okay, I'm fine. So what is important as well is that if you don't uh, talk, you don't coordinate. It's gonna be very hard for us. To Settlement reinforcements coming yeah. your way. So somebody needs to do that. Somebody needs to take charge. <laughs> I can't take charge, I have a uh, Hamish and Pepper giving me instructions on the earpiece at uh, the yeah. same time, so... <laughs> Are you saying good stuff? You? About you? I like it. Keep it going, we have five more minutes! I see you. We need to go sleep. I've That's got okay. eyes on a heavily armored hostile. Why are you... Come on, come on up here. Okay. Yeah. 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 Dangerous. Oh. Oh. Not that good, <laughs> good at talking. I want to make sure to film the baby. Yeah. Otherwise, all the hard work. <laughs> all for nothing. And this is also something new in uh, Division 2 is that uh, the enemies are. Uh, uh, they have uh, some, some new archetypes. Come the medic is uh, being one of them. And it, you, in, if you don't kill the medic, he's gonna go around the, the battlefield and he's gonna revive yeah. everybody. Yeah, because the medic actually revives fight. now. So yes, uh, he revives his uh, his fellows. Mm. So we need to be very careful. And, and now we have. And another thing that is new is when you call reinforcement. I don't know who called it, but. Uh, yeah, I think we did. The the yeah, you see the civilians are here. Because that's something we haven't talked about actually in the world, but yeah. Yes. Our dear civilians. That's yeah. Also play their part. They come to help. Now they're they're not so helpless anymore. After a few a few months, they actually. Uh, I'm gonna do it. Stupid, 
got some cool jelly. Like, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Are you, are you afraid? I don't know. Can I handle it? I'm not sure. The keeper. The also, one thing that uh, is hard to do is uh, if you are very, very good, you can actually shoot at the game. That's true. That's true. They have a physics now, actually. But, but you, you need to be right. And so, you are so, so, it, so, so it's easy for you, uh, Chris. No, not easy. <laughs> you, need to be you have to be very good, like me. We are actually not doing too bad. We almost did three played battle already. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> it's the first time. So maybe okay, there is another. This is fine, this is fine, I'm not gonna die. Even with Yannick in the team. <laughs> Even so with me, <laughs> because we've seen already That's yesterday really cool how terrible I can be at that game. It's controllers, I blame everything on the fact that there is a controller. They this. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to that. I need my, my mouse and keyboard. I'm gonna get my loot. Is this your luggage, Yannick? That you <laughs> lost? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one of my. Did you forget? The luggage that you lost uh, when you came here? Yeah. So there's also uh, actually the whole inside of Air uh, Force One is available. Or we can explore that. So if you go on top of it, you're gonna actually see uh, what we are talking about earlier. Like Toxic chemical space. residue detected. That gives us this uh, um. white space that is right in front of the capital. If he, somebody can follow me here, yes. So you can see we can, you can imagine this. So we have the capital in front of us. So we can imagine this space, super wide. And we'll have, of course, these control points. Uh, now we we capture it, but maybe later in the game when we're gonna, we are not going to spend some time. Then you're gonna you're gonna see that uh, the enemies took it uh, back. You mm -hmm. have to fight uh, and get it back again. It force yeah. a, a big space. Yeah. Now I want to show something else that... Uh, something cool again? Something cool again, yes. Because people were asking and I saw comments and, and... Hey, where is the dark zone, right? So if you if you see from here... Yeah. There yeah. is a wall there. That mm. might a big might wall, be, right? Might be something like that. A surprise. Might be, might be a dark zone. I don't know. Mm. I'm just... Uh, might, might be. <laughs> might be. I'm not Maybe it's anything. not. Maybe you're just uh, Maybe teasing. it's not. Maybe it's not. I think Maybe. it's worth exploring, yes. yeah. Yeah, and then we have the botanical garden in, in the back, the one that you've seen on the Microsoft review. Yeah, so when you actually, yeah. because I, damn, I realize like, you can actually go, <laughs> yeah. at least to the uh, the entrance of Air Force One that was in the Microsoft gameplay review. So yes, this is actually can come from that way as well. Like this is where. Uh, for example, Matt falls the hive. Just here. Do you want to recreate that? <laughs> Matt with the hive. Matt with the nice. hive. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we have so much fun. Yes, we, we've seen we've seen this uh, and watched this trailer a few times. A few so times. eventually, <laughs> some words actually uh, stick. A few times. <laughs> so where do they arrive from? from Can here. we go? We can't go all the way back, right? Can we? All right. I want to see. Ah, no. See. Of order. Damn, you're so mean, you devs. You're not oh. allowing me to go see the rest. Do not go there. <laughs> yes. But don't no. worry, All right. you'll be able to well explore the backstage of the capital soon. Okay, well then, Thank that was you. a pretty good job, yes. team. It yeah. uh, was way mm. easier than, uh, <laughs> than I thought. I, uh, I thought somehow that... Uh, we're actually going to struggle. You called the best, come on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously. Obviously. Boy, <Going> Christian. <laughs> wow. All right. You know it. <laughs>
but yeah so thank you very much uh, thank you. that was uh, yeah talking about the world obviously we're going to be revealing more about you know the world and everything and the game and all of that uh, in the you know at E3 and in the weeks to come there will be more things I will prob be probably talking to you more about uh, about this kind of topics um, but now yes we are going to jump to the next segment uh, which is actually going to be if I'm right I hope I'm right um, is actually going to be a video from Hamish going to the LACC again. Hopefully that one, we are not going to lose the internet connection while the video is playing. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, dive into that. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi everyone, we're back again at E3. It's uh, closing in on two o'clock, so the line here is crazy. I was going to walk all the way down, but it's uh, it's kind of too far. How long have you been waiting? Yeah. Uh, time is a flat circle. Yeah? You, you're dealing with, sorry, are you guys dealing with the sun okay? Vague, yeah, vaguely. Yeah. Vaguely? It's all good. All right. I just finished my last bottle of water, well, container of water. Alright, so well, hopefully you'll be, in, you'll, you'll be in soon. Are you guys, what, are, what games are you excited to see? You don't have to say The Division, but like, that would be cool. No? Uh, <laughs> you can, no, you can say anything else. I can say anything? Yeah. Like, I can be honest? Yeah. Sweet. Um, yeah, I would be told that. Probably Smash 4. I mean, it's not Smash 4. I mean, you're wearing the Nintendo yeah. t-shirts. Uh, that's yeah, that's I mean, cool. Yeah, for sure. All right. I mean, yeah. Okay. Smash guys. All right. That's cool. All right. Let's uh, let's head down. I saw some uh, some Gone Rogue t-shirts in the in the queue before because uh, I don't know. These these guys uh, look look like true Division fans. So let's go and uh, let's check it out. Oh man, where were they? Oh, I see them. I see them. I don't know how anyone could wait out in this heat. Yo, dudes, I love this. I love this. Are you, is, are you guys uh, excited to uh, to get inside? Oh yeah, can't wait. What's uh, the first uh, the first thing you're gonna go and see? I mean, I I'm, 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 I'm hoping it is what I think it is. Of course. Uh, yeah, Division that's where two. we're going. Do yeah. Yourself. Yeah. So we, we want to try out the game. Yeah. Division two. Cool. You played the Division one? Oh, yeah. we played it for many years. hours. Yeah. For many Yo, hours. What's your uh, What's your favorite thing from the Division one? Well, he's the rogue guy. I, I got rogue. <laughs> oh, yeah? He's always yelling at me, stop <laughs> killing people or beating up people. Yeah. Awesome. I just go rogue. Where are you guys from? I work from, from Connecticut. Okay, you came all the way from Connecticut? Yeah. Get, wow. Both of you? Yes. Wow. Uh, when did you get in? Uh, we got in yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Wow. And the flight was okay? Everything's good? Oh, everything was good. It's awesome. Nice. So we just wanted to come in experience. It's our first E3 experience. So. Oh, well, so welcome. And when uh -huh. we found out that you guys are doing Destiny, I mean, um, Division two, we were like, what? I'm sorry. You Division two, <laughs> we were like, whoa, whoa. That, we gotta be here. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. So, um, so, do you did you see the stuff from the Microsoft and Ubisoft conferences, or were you in transit? We were in transit. We were in transit. So you I haven't seen anything yet? No. I saw a little bit of the Microsoft, but yeah. Okay. I didn't see anything from Ubisoft. So what do you know so far about the division? The division, division two. Division two. Division two. Um, yeah, that is. I think I know right. In DC. Yeah, it's in DC. DC. And um, I don't watch any of the gameplay because I want to experience it. I'm perfect. Okay. All right. So you only know DC. Yes. DC. That's so all I know. But I want to. Explain. Oh no! I don't even want to spoil anything for you. <laughs> no, spoil it. Go ahead. All right. You're the division. No, no, you no. watch your videos all the time, dude. No, no. You do? Yeah. Damn. That's cool. Still doing stick. That's really cool. Well, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully, I get to see you in there. Yeah. It's all right. Thanks. Thanks very much, Roberto hey. and uh, and you Sheldon. Sheldon yeah. with you? No, that's cool. Let's sure. let's do it. Let's go this way. Oh. Should have had it set up already. I have somebody take the picture. Hey. All right, let's fill this out. Come <laughs> rogue, baby. Yeah. Got it. Thanks. 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 No, that was awesome. Thanks, guys. All right. All right. Well, time to head inside. I think. We. What? Oh, hey, man. How are you doing? You good? I'll see you inside. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. So uh, yeah, this is uh, Jazimian. If you uh, if you haven't seen that guy, you uh, have been sleeping on Twitter. Okay. So we're gonna. Get through all this crowd. We uh, we get to I guess skip the queue. I feel bad. I feel really bad. Okay, but I also really don't. Okay. So again, if we if we have to do like we did this morning and kind of go through security and turn this off and, and start it back up again, uh, we'll do that. But we'll uh, we'll see if they let us through. Maybe I don't know. Okay. Oh man. No, they're about to open those doors. We're not we're not too far away. Okay, so the plan today is we're gonna get inside. Hey, uh, what are you guys for? Uh, so exhibitor for Ubisoft. Yeah, and I make you go in the longer way, bro. Okay, can I go with them? Which uh, which uh, way is the longer way? Go right here. 
Yeah, we can no go bags. No, no bags? All right, cool. Thick. Now, it's time to get inside. So we got to get all the way up the stairs. We couldn't go up there before because it was closed. Well, we could have. I guess it's not open to the public until about five or ten minutes from now. So let's head up before, uh, you know, the stairs get a little bit too cramped. We'll see who we can find. And I really want to show everyone what the Division booth looks like because we actually, for the first time ever, have people playing the Division live, which is crazy. I mean, the Division 2 live. It's, it's absolutely crazy. So follow me. Follow me. Um, I'm also kind of interested to see who we run into. But I don't even know these people. This is crazy. So many loud noises. Okay, yeah. I, I also... <laughs> Today has been absolutely crazy because we've, I mean, if you've been watching the stream or trying to watch the stream, we've had all sorts of crazy things happening. We, we ended up putting a satellite on the roof. Anyway, I've never uh, seen anything like that done before, but I'm sure at some point we'll tell you the story of this magician Tom who managed to, <laughs> to get up on the roof of the building we were in, put a satellite, drop some... Anyway, it, it was absolute madness, but we managed to get the stream up eventually. So... I feel good about it. All right. We, uh, we've got to get past another line of security, but it shouldn't be a problem with our badges. All right. Let's give this a go. Yo. All good? Thanks. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this one too. Cool. Thanks. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm a little bit overwhelmed, not going to lie. <laughs> Getting through this crowd's pretty tricky. <laughs> All right, and the light, I guess, is coming on. Whoa! If you've never been to E3 before, this is the kind of madness you can expect. It's uh, it's loud. At least the air conditioning's on, which is good because it's like 30 degrees outside, which is, I guess, a lot more degrees in Fahrenheit. But I don't know. Okay, so Ubisoft, we're close. We've almost made it! It's, uh, it's just up here. Man, this is good. I actually, I was unfortunate enough to not be here last year. Obviously the Division was out and we didn't have a whole, you know, this kind of thing happening. But, uh, I felt bad. I missed out. Because the last year's conference was so good, and this year's conference is, like, sick as well. Because, I mean, maybe I'm biased. Division 2 is my, you know, it's my home. So, oh my god, people are already queuing up for the Division 2 like crazy. Actually, let's, let's, so, booth two a time. <laughs> um, here you can see, obviously, they've recreated some uh, pretty iconic stuff from uh, Washington, D.C. Nice. Let's go and see if we can find someone to talk to who's lining up. So, yeah, as you can see, the Division 2 booth has 16 pods. Uh, we've got people playing... Hey! What's up, man? How you doing? You good? Yeah, just running my fourth time. I yeah? just to try all the specials. So. Oh, you've already played? Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. Do you mind if we talk for a little yeah, bit? Yeah, of course. No cool. Yeah. Um, so, so, for people who don't know you at home, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Juan Montiel. Yeah. I'm from Mexico. And I have a gaming channel basically 80% dedicated for the yeah. division. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. No, we, I, I had the pleasure of uh, hanging out with this guy yesterday yeah, uh, at, the, at the after the Ubisoft yeah, uh, the, conference. Yeah, the Fun Sun. Yeah, it was, uh, exactly. it, was, it was hot, but it was, it was awesome, man. Yeah, exactly. Well, it was so uh, you played the game through how many times now? This is my fourth time. All right. What did the first three feel like? Uh, it feels amazing. The yeah. movement for the players is quite different from the first game. Okay. I feel like it was more realistic because the movement is a bit slower, but it feels just great with okay. the control in hand. Uh, the aiming since then is, is quite similar, uh, but I just noticed that a few guns has a lot of recoil. Yeah. Which is really good because you cannot spam shots yeah. uh, using just one gun. That's cool. Uh, the enemies move. They react really well to the bullets. It feels very real when you yeah. shot them. So I always love the no signature skill stuff. Now we have a signature gun, which is yeah. really good too. Yeah. So what was your favorite one? Like so you, for you me played right now the, the sharpshooter is great. The 50 kill, right? Yeah, exactly. I just want to see how it will react against real players. Yes. How much damage uh, can I do with that with yeah. that rifle? Exactly. I mean, everyone knows I'm a huge sucker for sniper rifles, and it's like. Having the 50 cal finally in the game is it's a dream come true. Yeah, I, it's I, amazing. It's I, amazing. It's happy. So uh, uh, the um, so you like the sharpshooter? 
Yeah. Uh, what were some of the other favorite things that uh, jumped out from the build? Any uh, the new skills that you try? The skills uh, of the drone yeah. it's really good that so you can mark your enemies and then the drone will just go straight to them to attack them with a with the machine gun that, that, that it has that's real cool too. And I also like with the enemies this fluid that they use to 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 stop you. I don't know the, actually the name. Yeah, uh, I, know, I know that the foam that like yeah, the builds foam up that the, actually yeah. stop you right there, and that's really great too. Um, I, I want to take a look right now about the gears, the gear that you use. What what are the characteristics that each gear gives you? Yeah. So that's this is my full row, and that's what I will try to find out. Yeah. Do you know which one you're gonna try and play this time? I will try to play with the survivalist. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All exactly. right, dude. Well, I gotta run off. We're gonna try Don't and uh, chat to some much, other people, but I really appreciate it. Hey, what's up, man? You wanna get a picture? <laughs> nice, dude. Are you excited? Oh, definitely excited. Yeah. Is Can't this, wait. Is this going to be your first time playing? Uh, Division 2? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. Alright, yeah, yeah. so you haven't. this is your first time in the queue? Yes, yes. Damn, uh, man. man. Are you excited? Can't wait. Man, we played Division 1 for so long and it's like, we're waiting, waiting, waiting for some uh, news yeah. to break about Division 2 and when it finally broke, we were just like, man, can't man. wait to play it. What's, uh, what's Professional Assassins? Professional Assassins is actually our clan tag, our clan cool. logo. So, right. yeah. Cool. Uh, just out here. <laughs> Where? Oh, there we go. Can we just look? Out here uh, representing Professional mm -hmm. Assassins. Nice. Uh, yeah. So the people in Professional Assassins, can you tell us a bit about those? Uh, uh, just a uh, group of gamers that we've been playing together with for about 15 years now. So Cool, man. We play everything. But, That's uh, awesome. We were hardcore into the division for a while. So, yeah, nice. like I said, we're super excited. Uh, and you've seen everything from the other conferences and stuff? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So, nice. yeah. Can't wait, man. Just trying to get in nice. line. Nice. Well, thanks for giving me your time. Talk. I appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate you. All right. Let's uh, let's go and take a look and see who else is uh, queuing up for this uh, this demo. All right. I wonder if we can actually get inside. Well, I mean, we we can. I work here, uh, but I feel like I'm an outsider. This is strange. Let's. I don't even know where the entrance is. We uh. Let's see if we can sneak in. I don't know where the entrance is. <laughs> okay, maybe we have to go around the other side. Um, but yeah, if we can have take a look at some of the people that are playing right now, I guess they're uh, on the final... Yeah, can we, can we take a look at this just quickly? So you see a few people just uh, in here playing. So these four people are on one team, I guess. Um, but they're at the final encounter now at the, at the Air Force One thing, it looks like. Super cool. Oh man, I'm thirsty. It is hot in here. Let's keep going. I want to see if we can get in the entrance so we can actually get in and, uh, and film in there. I'm sure we can. Hey man, uh, I'm from the division. Can, okay. I, can I jump in? Yeah. Uh, with camera guy as well. All right. Cool. I don't want to disturb them too much because they're obviously like uh, playing this live. Hey Demir. Hello. Do you have a moment for me? Or are no, you busy? No, you're scary. I'm what? busy. He's I'm scared. Alright, Dem Demir's scared of me. Thanks, man. Alright, let's see if we can, <laughs> we can find someone else. Demir works at Massive, um, so I, I see him quite often. So obviously you can see all the specializations that there are people about to boot up here. Uh, so excited. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Good. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Everything running okay? Yeah, all good. Yeah? Fine. Nice. Fun. Do you have like two minutes? Uh, sure, yeah. Do, would that? you mind chatting to us? Yeah, this is good for the live stream? Terrifying, but yeah. Are you terrified? All right. Little, little camera show. Okay. All right. I'll be okay. gentle. I okay, promise. I promise. Um, what's your name? Lauren. I'm Lauren Fraser. Lauren. Yeah. Where Where do you work? Uh, reflections. Ubisoft Reflections in Newcastle. Yeah. So obviously, people who have uh, watched our streams before know about yeah, yeah. Reflections. They've seen a bunch of Reflections people before. Yeah. How long have you been there for? Um, almost five years now. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. So you worked soon. on the Division One. Yep. I was right. QC. Well, oh yeah, QC yeah, and yeah. Division One. Nice. So for people who don't know, what what does QC entail? Um. So obviously testing. Yeah. Uh, so my job in general was to go through all of the missions in Division One. Yeah. Um, so I would check everything was working, that the script was playing, the uh, the voiceover was acting, uh, the voice acting stuff was working correctly. Um, yeah. Awesome. So that sort of thing. And then I was like helping with um, Bucharest, who's our 
like uh, other testing groups. I was helping them figure out what would be wrong and what would be correct so yeah. they could put more bugs in. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, and you're working with Division 2? Yes, I'm a level designer in Division 2 now. Oh, so, cool. Yeah. Doing some different stuff? Yeah, something different. Cool. Are you so, excited and enjoying so that? So excited. All right. It's so fun. I actually got to work on the demo, so I built a little bit of it. Oh, cool. What, so, um, are there any parts that people might know from the demo that like you can be like, that was mine? Um, nothing in particular. Like, it was oh, yeah. a group effort. Yeah. So, kind of the general shape of things is... Well, it looks awesome. Yeah, it's like, great. It's so you guys should be super proud. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, it's been I'm, great to I'm biased, people. but it, it's, yeah, it we, looks... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I keep saying to people, like, I this is just so special to be able to see this come like into yeah, players' hands. Yeah. It's like the first bit of work that I've ever done that players are playing and it's amazing. It's like well, the best thing ever. Congratulations. Thank We're going to try and you. sneak around here, cool, I guess. Cool. And cool. you better get ready for another demo. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Thanks so much. All right. We, uh, I'm going to sneak in here. We can see, we can see uh, some other massive employees playing. Deep in concentration. <laughs> Sorry. Do you mind? All right. Um, so yeah, for the demo, we have uh, like one person who's like guiding people through it. So if they, if you've never played the division before and you're showing up at the booth, you have someone you know who either worked on it or has played it a lot to kind of help.